I am going to show in this video the graph of the variation of discharge with depth for constant specific energy. If this is the reference datum and this is the channel bed. Okay, you have here the channel bed. And this is the water surface. And this is the hydraulic grade line. And this is the energy grade line. So, from reference datum to channel bed, that is your elevation. And this is the from the channel bed to the hydraulic grade line, that is the depth of flow. And from the hydraulic grade line to the energy grade line, that is the velocity head. To determine the total energy at that section, we have here H is equal to Z plus Y plus V squared over 2G. That is the total energy. For the specific energy, the reference is from the channel bed. So, E is equal to Y plus V squared over 2G. From this equation, if we solve the velocity, velocity is equal to, okay, that is equal to, square root of 2G times E minus Y. So, since the discharge is equal to area times velocity, so if we will substitute the value of the velocity or the equation of the, vo the velocity, this will be 2G times E minus Y. Okay, that is the discharge. Okay, for example, if we have a rectangular section and the uh, width of the rectangular section is equal to 2 meters and this is the depth of the rectangular section, assuming, okay, assuming that the constant that the specific energy here is constant and that is 5 meters if we are going to plot this using this equation okay we have to tabulate this one okay you have the depth and you have the discharge so if we are going to tabulate this Okay, when y is equal to 0, if the depth of flow is equal to 0, so looking back to the equation, that is q is also equal to 0. Okay, again, when y is equal to 1, okay, when y is equal to 1, we will substitute this to this equation. The discharge is equal to okay, the okay, area is equal to 2 times 1 times square root of 2G times the specific energy is equal to 5 minus 1. Okay, that is equal to 17.718. I will use the decimal places here. In the computation then if the depth of flow is equal to 2 so the area of the channel is equal to 2 times 2 times square root of 2g times 5 minus 2 and that is equal to 
if the depth of flow is 3 meters, so 3 times 2, or 2 times 3, times square root of 2G, times 5, minus 3, that is equal to 37.585. Okay, so here, when the depth is 4, so that is 2 times 4, times square root of 2G, times 5, minus 4, Okay, that is equal to 35.436. When the depth is 5, and that is equal to the specific energy, which is also equal to 5. So, looking back again in the equation, 5 minus 5, it is equal to 0. So, 0 times the area, the discharge is equal to 0. So, we have this, this data. Then we have to plot this. Okay, this is your depth. And okay, this is your Q. Okay, so we have, when Y is equal to 0, your Q is equal to 0. So... This will be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, maybe we can have this okay, 10, 20. We have to make it larger. So we have here that is 10, this is your 20, this is 30, and this is 40. Okay, so when y is equal to 1, your q is equal to 17. So more or less it's here. Then when y is equal to 2, q is equal to 30.688. So, more or less, it's here. We will estimate. Then, when y is equal to, okay, when y is equal to 3, okay, that is, 30, when y is equal to 2, that is 30.688. When y is equal to 3, that is 37.585. So, more or less, it's here. Then, when y is equal to 4, that is 35.436. Okay, so, okay, we have that one. And when y is equal to 5, your q is equal to 0. So, if we are going to connect these points, we can have this curve. And here is your Q maximum. Okay, so this is now the graph of the discharge with depth for a constant specific energy. So here, if we can see, if you have, for a certain Q, you have two depths of flow. So for example, if you ha your Q is equal to 30, so you have here, we, you draw a vertical line and these are the depth if your Q is equal to 30. One is at the upper stage and the alternate depth is at the lower stage. Okay, This is Y2. So, the alternate depth of Y1 is equal to Y2. So, 
for a Q for a cert for a discharge with constant specific energy there are two depths or possible there are two possible depths occur one is at the upper stage and this is subcritical flow and the other one is at the lower stage and that is supercritical flow okay so from this graph or from this curve it appears that the the channel or the water flow in the channel for a given discharge there are two depths occur containing with the same energy again that depth or that depths are at the upper stage and at the lower stage and these two depths are the alternate stages or alternate depth of flow okay so i hope you understand and thank you for listening and watching this video god bless